I'm testing the um, Volvo Penta supercharger controller here on the bench with a, a rig that I've made up. Um, <clears throat> we've got a, a signal generator um, which replicates the, the engine RPM from the, from the pickup. Um, we've got a proximity sensor here which is, uh, matches the, the Volvo one electrically but obviously mechanically it's a different shape. Um, this was only about two pounds from, uh, from an eBay type seller. Um, we've got the controller sitting here that's all plugged up, ready to go. Uh, sitting in pin one, we've got the um, we got ground with a connector there for my oscilloscope. There's nothing on pin two. Uh, pin three and four is the uh, proximity sensor wiring. Uh, pin five is the um, it's the supercharger connection. Um, supercharger is represented by an LED here, so when that lights, that's the supercharger coil being engaged. Pin six is the is the feed from the engine. Uh, in this case, it says it's the signal generator, and then finally, pin seven is the uh, is the twelve volt supply into the uh, into the controller. Um, the proximity sensor, you can see it's lit up. The whole system is already powered up, ready to ready to run. Um, something of note: if I disconnect the proximity sensor, you'll see it, it goes out and the supercharger light um, here lights up. Um, if your proximity sensor is has a bad connection or it's faulty um, that can make the supercharger run so it's it's not this that's faulty um, the proximity sensor can make it look like this is faulty uh, so it's just something to bear in mind i just reconnect it there it's um, it's gone out so the supercharger is not active um placing something metal in front of the proximity sensor as you can see it'll it, it lights up the uh it lights up the supercharger light that's the supercharger kicking in. So if you're on your engine and you put something metal in front of the throttle body, uh, it will it will trigger that for you. Um, over here, replicating the engine RPM. If I increase the RPM, I uh, mean basically increase the, the frequency coming up the signal generator, you'll see that the supercharger will light up at a given RPM. There you go. That's lit up. And if I continue to accelerate, you'll see the supercharger light will, will go out. Slowly increase it because I don't want to go too far. There you go, it's gone out. Um, so I'm in the range where the supercharger is cut in and it's cut out again. Um, but if I go to the proximity sensor, I can still energize the supercharger. I'm at a, a low enough RPM where it's not locked out. Um, but, but ordinarily the supercharger wouldn't be running. And then if I increase the, the revs even further um, and try the proximity sensor, you can now see it's not lighting. So this box is preventing the supercharger being engaged with the proximity sensor when you exceed a certain RPM. And then as I decelerate the boat, um, the supercharger kicks in. It kicks in a couple of seconds after you decelerate. And then if I reduce the revs even further, supercharger will will cut out there it gets cut out and then again proximity sensor will re-energize this that's how i test it on the bench